God said, let there be light, and there was light. God is light. In all cultures, there's an intimate association between illumination and divinity, between light and creation. Light is color. Light is energy. It fuels life and it feeds the spirit. It inspires art, religion, and science. Light holds the secrets of the universe. For thousands of years, humanity has tried to unlock the mysteries of light in its search for the nature of God himself. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. This is the story of that long quest to try and understand light because it leads to an understanding of God. Extraordinarily, we'll see that enlightenment, that modern science itself emerges from this religious quest to understand the nature of light. The journey into the mysteries of light begins here, in Sicily, over 2,000 years ago. This luminous isle was home to some of the most renowned Greek philosophers, and it was they who first began to question the nature of light and how we see. Light is surely fascinating for the Greek thinkers because it offers a clue to the whole structure of the universe. It seems to fill all space and it allows a kind of penetration of the world. Greek exploration of light would lead to discoveries that would change the world. The Greeks lived in a world bathed in light. But in order to understand light, in order to bring it within the realm of reason, it was necessary in a way to abstract from the light that surrounded them, to choose appearances, to choose phenomena where light was behaving in a special or strange way. So, for example, why do distant objects appear so much smaller? Or why do objects completely change their position and shape when you put them under water? By thinking about these specific questions, these particular puzzles, Greek philosophers made the most extraordinary advances in our understanding of light and of its relationship between the eye, the mind, and the world beyond us. The first comprehensive theory of light and vision is attributed to a wealthy scholar who grew up in the shadow of Mount Etna, the giant smoldering volcano on the island of Sicily. 
His name was Empedocles. Empedocles was a Sicilian philosopher, physician and poet who lived 2,500 years ago. Empedocles believed himself to be divinely inspired to reveal the properties of light and of nature. Indeed, according to one story, believe it or not, in order to prove that he was a god himself, he jumped into the crater of this great volcano on Sicily, Etna. I think we can guess that he ended up as a mere mortal, but his ideas about vision acquired their own immortality. Empedocles put forward the extraordinary idea that we see objects because light streams out of our eyes and touches them. And it makes an enormous amount of sense. The model is something like a lighthouse. I'm seeing things because something streams from my eyes towards them. And as my gaze touches them, they come into view. Now it may seem at first glance that this idea is crazy. But his idea that light streams from our eyes towards objects became the fundamental basis on which later Greek mathematicians and philosophers would construct some of the most important theories we have about light, vision and optics. Among them was the renowned mathematician Euclid. Euclid used Empedocles' theory to make the single most important breakthrough in the understanding of light. Reason loves problems, and above all, it loves showing you that there is a problem where you didn't think there was one. Here's an example that Euclid really focused on. Why do objects further away seem so small in comparison with objects nearer our eye? The height of a distant column, which we know in our minds is much bigger than our finger, looks to our eyes to be exactly the same as a finger held near our eye. Euclid came up with an elegant solution. The eye, the top of the finger, and the top of the column must lie on the same line. And for that to be true, the rays from the eye must follow straight lines. It was a fundamental breakthrough. For the first time, light could be explained, predicted by the new discipline of mathematics. What this showed, and it was a dramatic discovery, was that the geometry of straight lines and triangles can completely master problems of light and vision out there in the world. And this mastery of light had far-reaching consequences. would help transform navigation into a rigorous skill based on the position of the sun and the stars. Greek navigators opened up new trade routes. And Greek culture and learning dominated the known world as far...